Is it is it uh, shown there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Fine. Okay. Ma'am, YouTube, YouTube. Ma'am, ask uh, Angel, please uh, share the YouTube live link to the chat box also. If somebody is unable to join with the Zoom, means they can just uh, come through the YouTube also. Ma'am, now we we can around participate thousand participants. We can join, ma'am. With this, it is a paid version, ma'am. So share the YouTube live link to the chat box also. If somebody is unable to join with the Zoom, means they can just. No. Yeah. Another one. This my PPT is okay, lah. For participate thousand participants, we can join, ma'am. With this, it is a paid version, ma'am. Ma'am, mute. Ma'am, ma'am, so it's muted, ma'am. Yeah, Chitra. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, shall we start, ma'am? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, a warm good afternoon to everyone. On behalf of GRT College of Nursing, my hearty welcome to all the delegates for this webinar. Courage is, no. courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not absence of fear. Accept your creation to part. what it is not a compliment to say it is brave it is my immense pleasure to welcome the women of determination elvinius assertive nursing administrator this none other than our eminent speaker dr jyoti clara michael director of nursing strategies and planning in the operation division pathway healthcare limited i am extremely honored to welcome you ma'am thank you i feel extremely dignified to welcome our enthusiastic principal dr batmavati and also it's my privilege to extend my cheerful welcome to the principal senior learned persons head of department of various college of nursing and nursing in charge staff nurses nurse educators supervisors from various clinical and titles the nursing students from various colleges and also i welcome our teaching and non teaching crew for this webinar happiness is not something you postpone for the future it is something you design for the present it's true today our happiness is going to be de defined by our resource person thank you uh, now i request our principal dr batmavati to give a brief introduction about the resource people thank you thank you thank you chitra ma'am thank, thank you for the invitation thank you for the thing good afternoon to one and all it's a great privilege for all of us uh, to attend this uh, webinar because one of the one of the leading nurse leader a best nurse leader is with us today we all should be as vp ma'am as uh, chitra ma'am told we all are blessed today to have dr jodi clara michael ma'am uh, to meet us and to, she will be giving us about how defining how, how our happiness and i'm really privileged uh, to be here actually Uh, I, I, at this juncture, I would like to say that myself as well as Professor Chitra Ma, we both of us are started our career under Madam's guidance only. Our first initial career, we worked under her as a clinical instructor, and we were amazed. Actually, I am more privileged. I have seen her as PG student. I mean, I was my UG student. Madam has taken classes for us, and we all love to have her classes. She is a. Uh, I thought she is a best teacher, and after that, I saw her as a vice principal. I saw her as a 
uh, best uh, academician and the best researcher, best clinician. I don't know how to uh, say the words actually. Uh, we have every, if you have a real mentor means that should be Dr. Jodi Clara Ma because wherever she is, wherever, whichever the field she is there, that will be flourishing very nicely. And we all can learn each and everything single minute. It will not be wasted with her. The learning is very, very important with her actually. So we all will be happy that we should be learning a lot from her, my, my students and students from other colleges and various nursing leaders are here, both from academic as well as clinical area. I think it will be a good time for us to learn from her. And we are all are blessed today. With this small thing, I would like to introduce everybody known her. It is she's a very popular figure, but still, uh, to be frank, I was unable to understand her CV itself. It is not a usual CV. So we will learn many things from the CV also now. Okay, so I would like to introduce ma'am. We all know we are, we are Dr. Jodi Clara J. Michael Ma'am is with her. Now currently, Madam is holding the position of Director of Nursing, Strategies and Planning, India Operations Division, Parkway Healthcare India Private Limited, Glen Eagles, Glen Eagles Global Group and Continental Hospitals. And also Madam is Vice President Association of Nurse Executives India and Tamil Nadu State Official Member, CAHO, HPI, INS and Member of Technical Committee of NABH. And regarding the Madam's previous position, Madam has been as Chief Clinical Governance Officer at Kaveri Carpet Hospital and Director Nursing and Quality of Glen Eagles Global Hospitals Group, that is Group of Hospitals Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore and Mumbai, and also has Assistant Dean for Clinical Affairs. Sultan, this is her overseas experience. Sultan Qaboos University, Muscat, Oman, National Advisory Board for Research uh, Sultanate of Oman. And uh, Madam, to give a few introduction about her, she is alumni of CMCH Vellur with professional journey over the past 32 years, reaching the pinnacle positions in both academia and clinical arena in nursing, challenging various capacities and leadership in India and abroad. And Madam's area of interest and her research accomplishments are regarding the women's health, pain management, alternative complementary therapy, quality of care, online course designing, EBP and training, accreditation and nursing profession and ethics. And regarding the awards and honors, she's the most innovative healthcare leadership award has been received by ma'am, an international travel award from Midwest Nursing Research Society and leadership training from the University of Wisconsin and the ETRP research award from the annual ETRP chapter research and also USA Rotary Occasional Excellence Award and best nurse award from Tamil Nadu Dr. MJR Medical University, an Academic Excellence and Research Award from ICCR Chennai, and also Healthcare Poet, which was appreciated by a University of Wisconsin, and also leading Corona Nursing Care across the IOD. And regarding her added credentials, Madam is, is Assessor for NABH since 2012, and worked for hospitals and universities undergoing NAAC, NABH, and JCIA. Madam also is member of ISQA of certified ISQA of fellow and also core committee member to bring nursing excellence program for NABH and nursing excellence principal and also assessor and faculty POI and developed critical care nurse practitioner standards for INC and also INC inspector for the nurse and madam is the practitioner program and member of education committee member INC and inspector for clinical establishment act the Tamil Nadu government. Regarding Madam's publication and research work, she's a PhD guide, co-guide and advisory members, has publication and international presentations, board member for British Journal of Nursing UK and India, also advisory board member for JCNE and CMCH, developed and tested framework on nursing empowerment, accreditation preparedness, nursing leadership, key to nursing excellence, and error reporting and preventing culture, etc. And also co-authored real world healthcare diagnostics, point of care urinary tract infection in high impact factor journal, Nature BME. And Madam has association with professional bodies like INC, SNE, and state nursing councils, various state nursing councils and TNMC, CHO, AHPI. I think we will not even know the abbreviation for all these things, CAHO, AHPI, INS, MNRS, NR, NRSI, STTI, ETAT, Sigma Theta T chapter, so all these things. Uh, most of the students, I think you may not be able to understand all things. Now to know this itself, I think you have to read a lot actually. So with this small introduction, uh, I'm honored and grateful uh, to introduce in front of you, Dr. Jodi Clara Michael Ma'am. She is my teacher as well as my administrator and my mentor. 
and th thank you ma'am welcome you ma'am for this presentation over to you ma'am thank you so much ma'am okay angel ma'am uh, unmute panniru angel ma'am ma'am unmute panna ma'am yes i have given the request ma'am yes yes ma'am ma'am request has been given to you ma'am kindly accept ma'am ma yes so we are just sharing the screen meanwhile um, thank you dr padma and yes. professor chitra i am very delighted today to be part of uh, the nursing program uh, today for the nursing students especially i think so many colleges have participated here i always have special reference uh, uh, for uh, the nursing colleges in tamil nadu uh, with the label leadership of uh, dr ani grace Uh, i am sure uh, the colleges are well led and given lot of empowerment to uh, grow beyond what it is the normal video pressy and i wish every single student here and the faculty and the administrators of college of nursing uh, i first thank you all for given me this opportunity and taking your time off to come and sit in this webinar to understand and to help me little bit motivate you to define your happiness i cannot define your happiness <laughs> you cannot define my happiness but we can define our own happiness so that is the gist of the today's presentation and i am very delighted that the generations are able to recognize the seniors and the generation of nursing is having lot of values that you could see from dr padma and the professor chitra so i am sure there are many more generations in this group probably we will have four generation team joined here in different levels probably i'll be the oldest generation uh, <laughs> among the group here probably <laughs> now to start with how do you rate yourself how do i rate myself in happiness when we say the extreme level of happiness it is a five star then comes your four star three star two star and one this particular picture describes happiness for illiterates as well it's not that those who are able to be literate can help us understand what is the level of happiness but even an illiterate can mark in this particular tool what is their happiness level as of now so may i request all of you to go into your uh, dialog chat box and put your rate as of what is your happiness as of today and as of now whether it is 5 4 3 2 or 1 just do it and then we will proceed for the other presentation now who defines happiness for ourselves it is we who define our own happiness happiness is yours to design define yours to define you and only you alone can define your happiness having said that the only keeper of your happiness is you stop giving people power to control your smile your worth and your attitude that is the biggest mistake we often do and we say i don't have happiness because we have not stopped giving people the power to control your smile your worth and your attitude happiness is a state of appreciation for what we have i breathe a pure air that gives me an happiness i'm just watching the sun rays that's my happiness small things can make us happy big things can also make us happy so there is no definition kind what exactly makes us happy is because what we are able to perceive and that will define us whether we are able to be happy now let us see what happens in india 
India, not so happy. You can see in this chart, in this figure, it very clearly says, we are not anyway closer to 2, 3, 4, and 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are 118 online in the world map to be measured on happiness. So why are we in 118? This was in the previous years. As of the current year, 2020, every country, every city had turbulence. Some had more turbulence than the other. The happiness measure shows here that we are in 140. And we could see it very clearly. The diagram depicts very clearly where the India is there and where the other countries the next to it, it is there. So what helps us define happiness in India? What is the work left for us as professionals? Nurses are the largest workforce in the country. And I believe if we focus on only nurses and ensure that they are able to define their happiness, keep the cool, and able to demonstrate the right kind of vibration around them, mostly even the rating for India would go high. So nurses don't only contribute to healthcare because of the larger number, we can also impact the happiness score of our country for sure. Now, what is this happiness all about that we have to understand? 50% is genetics, 40% is internal and 10% is environmental. But what do we always say? We go home, we get irritated with the family members and we say, you have spoiled my happiness. We come to office room, we see other faculty members, we tell them, oh, you have spoiled my happiness. We stay in the hostel, we say the hostel environment is not good. And we say it's because of that, we are very unhappy, right? So what I, what I would like to infer here is environment can only influence 10%. What we get from our parents, what we get from our genetics plays a role and equivalent 40% is from our internal mindset. So there is twofold here. Those who are married, please think about this. How much of your happiness genes that you're giving to your babies, your children, and the other group of people, those who are not married, should think that internal state of mind, how I am able to manage. You see in this picture, no medicine cures what happiness cannot. All of them in this group, different age group, different maturational process, they all are involved with some problem or other. But we see them all happy. How do we see happiness? The smile, the connect. And it is expression. The expression, happiness cannot be hidden. It's like a cattle on the top of the mountain. It only infects. We say certain corona is infectious. I can say happiness is much more stronger than corona. It, in, it is highly infectious. Beautiful reasons to be happy. You can see me here. You no, know, I like last two years I, I I felt like happiness was nice for me. Like when do you get happy? Like when you get achievements. I saw my friend after so many years, she came to my home in our garden, we were standing. You, you can see her, her name is Satya. The thrill I had, the happiness I had in dialoguing with her, the entire psychic changed for me. This is influence, the 10% of the external environment that influences you 
this is the wicket influence there up you see i was very happy to see one of my master students in manipal dr anas had uh, invited me to give her oration for madam banumati it was in my dream when i think of manipal manipal is a wonderful institution and that is the first time i am visiting there and i never thought i would have that privilege of visiting there and do a oration for madam banumati because i had a great regards for such professionals and give a oration for them is something amazing so it did influence my happiness the third picture in the group you will see i think it's it will be difficult for you to see here because um, my color is not as bright as uh, west so uh, i was very happy to visit netherlands i traveled by myself i explored you know i i didn't want to make a easy way i traveled by regular train and then i used other means and it was a beautiful exploratory exploratory visit for me at netherlands the way people meet dialogue what is that they are uh, taking it forward and the hospitals i visited it was amazing for me so those all are 10% which comes from external to make us happy yes now we are also seeing the other way around like one who is happy has everything though poor one who is sad has nothing though rich very strong statement can you see the pictures here how happy they are the mother in the field she carries a baby on the back the siblings with parent playing there see the elder one feeding the child see the smile on their face with all the mud and clay around their body the face they are not clean but they are very happy see very innovative see the spectacles that the boy is wearing here very beautifully prepared handmade and the other side see how the father is admiring the daughter these are all happiness rich or poor happiness definition does not differ i am in charge of who i feel and today i am choosing happiness all of you participants dear students faculty and the administrators in education field and those who are participating in this program please make a oath that you are in charge of who you feel how you feel and today you will choose happiness and you have chosen it the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts if you see a glass full of water you are happy if the uh, glass is only half filled with water you will be happy because you are seeing the half filled water rather than seeing the half empty glass the glass that is half empty will give you unhappiness but the glass that is you are seeing what do you see matters what do you perceive matters your thought matters your thought has to guide your perception and that will yield happiness where attention goes energy flows you are either limited or liberated by your thoughts the fine line between is called the stress so are you limited or are you liberated if you are limited then you feel helpless you enter into stress if you are liberated you will explore you will overcome stress so it is all in the thought where is your energy and where does it flow if you want to limit it is with you if you want to get liberated it is with you so the people those who are able to manage stress are people those who are able to liberate themselves it is all within your system and there is science backing up this i am not just talking by what 
I have experienced alone, but I'm also giving you some backup of size. We have already seen 50%, 40%, and 10%. But beyond that, the science says that those who are able to focus on that 40% have better life. This 40% as it is focused much, you are able to overcome the 10%. And also, as per genetical studies, it says, even if your genetic is contributor of 50% of your happiness, still by your effort, you can improve your happiness as days goes by. So the important aspect here is that 40% are we complete. If we are able to get that 40% complete in us, that will make a way. So we have to think that Maslow's hierarchy, my dear students, nursing faculty, we day in and day out talk about Maslow's hierarchy. But Maslow's theory of happiness says that the happiness can take place in many different places in the brain. From hardwired to free will. And parallel of psychological model of happiness developed by Abraham Maslow says that happiness is one important thing that we can develop and there is a brain support for that. So conditioning brain can also make you be happy consistently. So conditioning your brain will also help you be happy continuously, every time, always. Nothing in the environment can disturb you, can alter your happiness. Endorphin. We are going to see few hormones. First is the endorphin hormone. When you do exercise, a good way of generating endorphin. Laughter is the best medicine. It helps in giving us endorphins. Spend time with positive people, positively charged people around you. Always move away from people, those who talk negative. When you keep listening to negative statements, when you keep listening to negative stories, what happens is automatically you get unconsciously into, into a, 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 a metrics where you feel that something is not right, something is bad. So this will make you very unhappy. Have positive vibes all around you. People should feel that, oh, can I go and sit with her for five minutes? Because I gain some energy in that person because that person is full of happiness. So as I told you earlier, if you're full of happiness, you can send your vibes out. Your aura around us. For example, like when you see Lord Krishna, Jesus, you, you see the pictures, no? One ring around their, behind their hand. That's the aura. So there will not be a real defined uh, ring around your head, but people can feel the aura around you when you are happy. Now, dopamine. Dopamine is another secretion that helps you to be happy when we get appreciated. So what do we do in nursing? We have something called a sweet nothing rounds. I do it and I saw that helping people and it helps me as well. I just go for rounds in the wards, not to pinpoint on mistakes that the nurses do, but I just go around to also pat them on their back, see what good is happening around. Normally, human mind is to explore what is not right, but we should also be focusing on what goes well, what is right, and then we pat on the back of people. You pat on yourself. Today I went on rounds. I was able to see five good things. Good Clara. Good. You are able to see good around you. There is an argument that is happening. But you want relationship to be stronger than the argue, win over, winning over the arguments. So what do you do? You lie low sometimes. Why do you lie low? Because you want to retain the relationship. Winning over argument is not important. Maintaining relationships are very, very important. Other reasons for a release of hormones are like you get a new job, new car, 
and then you get a new gadgets and you get a new computer nursing students when you get a new job when you get a job abroad when you get good salary so all these will improve your dopamine serotonin serotonin is released when we act in the way that believes others sorry that benefits others when we say that benefits others when others believe that there is a benefit then that gives a release of serotonin so serotonin re release is very easily measured like you write a blog you chat you socially network help others today i am giving a presentation to all of you you know the serotonin in, would have got nicely secreted in my system because i am focusing i am i am enjoying my session with you i am enjoying the presentation with you yesterday we had one of our speaker uh, dr as from uh, trichy he spoke to all our nurses in the beyond nursing program so he was speaking about bold and visible he did mention that his serotonin level was high when he was preparing for the presentation when you do the so when you put maybe in the facebook you wanted to chat something you just project something there your serotonin level good gets in secreted coming to the real world covid 19 i just wanted to give you a glimpse of what has happened you could see the nurses see we have six hospitals across india we have a hospital in mumbai global hospitals and we have bgs global hospital in bangalore we have glenigals global health city in chennai and we also have glenigals global two hospitals in hyderabad and one hospital additional in hyderabad which is a continental hospital i just took few pictures with the permission of the nursing heads there and the patients and i projected here can you see the happiness of patients getting well and the nurses they forgot about their uh, suit that they are wearing how difficult it was to wear the covid suit the complete mask the visor so many things no it's hot and they were having challenges wearing that and working they forgot all that they were very happy because they see the success when the patient comes to the ward we could see some of the ward sisters standing there right so sorry ward nurses standing there and the patients those who are in color sari and color dress and patient gown so they also felt very happy this is what we started off we started off with a, see i because uh, among the six hospitals since i live in chennai i am uh, uh, attached to chennai hospital and my office is here and we have our ceo and other members in the hospital we have the deputy cno and all other senior leadership members and all our nurses we just assured patients stay back home but we are ready to take care of you you know these nurses were taken for uh, 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 good respect from the army and military for the service that they have done they gave a good parade they saluted them they honored them you think that how much of hormones would have got secreted in them because they felt happy receiving all that it's not only in chennai in mumbai we had this is a mumbai team you know i normally travel all hospitals every month but due to corona i was not able to and you could see that in that picture in the middle without mask is the cno and the other nurses some of them are from tamil nadu also so we what did we do is i connected uh by um, media we had cake cutting this was one of the uh, nurse who had to celebrate her uh, after her care of covid patient she was working for covid patients so we wanted to celebrate the birthday so all these gives a feeling of happiness this is the 10% of from that comes from outside and you see on the right a nurse with crown and all so that crown was even made by the nurses working in the corona ward and it was placed for him to honor him and it was full of fun people connected from different places now 
we have to address the elephant in the room. So what is the elephant in the room now? Life during COVID crisis. It is not at end. It is still going on. Lockdowns is no more, but we are still exposed to the COVID crisis. That is why you all are having such online programs and you are all getting connected with the teachers and with the curriculum and the program. Now, what is the problem? You all stay home. You no more you go to malls. No more you have parties. Small way, yes, you do have now. But what is that the problem we face? First thing we have to address the elephant in the room. In a room, there is an elephant. That is a big elephant. The problem, what is that problem? Problem number one, being lonely. Problem number two, we are going out of control. We are totally going out of control. You hear from news as people do something abnormal. Somebody got himself suicided because his wife delivered in some other place. He couldn't go. So many things like this. Spiraling out control, totally gone. Facing their insecurities. Lot of insecurities come in. In terms of finance, yes. Some are paid less. Some are paid half. Some lose job. Sometimes, some of them have insecurities in different ways. Distancing from loved ones. Not able to meet each other. Family disputes. So many things are happening at this point of time. It has been from January till date. Now, drawing out a solution is the fundamental right thing to do now. Keeping in mind that only you can help yourself to define your happiness. Giving simplest solution for the three problems will help address the elephant in the room. Let us unfold. Now you have to walk with me. You have to imagine with me. How do you use these solutions? The most simple solution I would suggest is from Buddha. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. I read a book some time ago which says, if you call a child worm, you call worm, worm and you're a worm. You will expect the child to become equivalent to a worm. But you call a child to be a butterfly, the child will soon become a butterfly. It's very important what do you think about somebody. This is from external. But from within, as an adult, you should think yourself that I am capable. I am able to do things. I am able to be happy for myself so that I can be of use to the society. So thought is very, very important. You just imagine with me, when somebody comes and scolds you, what do we do? We react. But if we can control our reaction with our thoughts, it's very difficult though, even I am not perfect. It's very difficult. But controlling thought, if you start doing it, it helps us define who we are and what we want to become. How can we see good side of bad things or situations? Always aim at complete harmony of thought and words and deeds. Always aim at purifying your thoughts and everything will be well. This is what Gandhiji has told. Now, there is a very deep meaning in this. When there is a harmony between what we think, what we tell and what we do, then that is a real happiness. Some will say, I'm very happy. But their thoughts, in terms of words and deed will never correlate. And that is not the true happiness. That is not at all a true happiness. Do you know there is a story of good wolf and a bad wolf? 
do you know all of us have got a good wolf and a bad wolf in us if you know fine if you don't know understand there is good wolf and a bad wolf in us each of the wolf gets stronger healthier bigger when they start feeding so what we have to do here we have to be very careful feed your thoughts with the food that is appropriate to nourish your good old finio which are as small as a droplet holding relatability and meaning as vast as ocean very important holding relatability and meaning holding relatability and meaning is very very important for all of us it is important your bad wolf gets fed every time i walk in the corridor i saw my nurse after her shift at 3 o'clock very tired she walks opposite to me to go to her hostel i imagine she saw me but i knew that her eyes is focused on me but her thoughts are not she is thinking about whether i handed over everything properly whether i did everything properly will somebody call me to clarify did i do a good job for my nurse for my patients did i hand over things properly for my patients for the next shift or she will be thinking this patient is very sick i handed over a sick patient to my next staff i wish and pray that this patient goes well or she must be thinking she saw a very sad relative crying there next to the patient and she must be thinking of the oh my god god only should give life back to this patient it's very pathetic to see the daughter the wife crying standing near the patient so she these thoughts are going into her mind but what do i think what a proud nurse she is she is not even looking into my eyes she is not even wishing me she saw me but she is pretending as though she is not seeing me she didn't wish me no intentions are very clear she has not seen you seen you really her thoughts are not there in her so i have to feed the bad wolf in me thinking that this nurse doesn't respect me this nurse is doing always wrong so what happens is i am feeding a negative wolf in me the wrong wolf in me and then what happens i develop a negative feeling within me which is not making me happy instead if i call her hi how are you how was your work then she smiles then she will put her eyes up and say oh ma'am i didn't meet you i didn't realize you are there in front of good afternoon ma'am how are you so then you are fed your good wolf in you it's not only with this many things many times we perceive people wrong they would have done wrong they are wrong so what happens is we feed wrong wolf in us so when we keep feeding our wrong wolf in us we don't see the positivity we do it for corona also right so we said during corona corona is very bad many people are dying things are not good but then there are positivity during this time as well in urban india there are there are some informations that was brought out which says that we have to count up blessings even during this time what are some of the count up blessings serve as a break that many of us needed yes it did people eat more fresh foods cooked foods at home because moms are available at home and also there is a point here men started learning cooking so that is one very important point yes and families relationship will get closer it did get closer people simply say that because we are all inside we don't uh, we feel so uh, close to each other it's irritating and all but then i am sure relationships would have got closer in many families many indian men will learn cooking and cleaning for the first time in fact i think male nurses are here 
but our male nurses are very good i think because they are with the female always know these male nurses also learn the female nature of us and uh, i see in hostel like when i when i travel the male nurses in the hostel do good do cook very well and they also clean up their rooms and do things we have seen that in men right but many men majority when you have a women they don't cook so this time it is a blessing that they learned this new skill pollution has dropped in fact no we have to say that across the world there should be one week or one three days holiday where no travel nothing should be there to bring out the pollution like how do you keep no lift locked and that is called as a cardiac day healthy cardiac day so you climb up the stairs because lift is switched off so you are forced to walk few steps and climb up to improve your health so like that for pollution also something should happen students will begin to learn india's remote work culture so remote work culture i think what the colleges of nursing has done in last year it was totally different this year lot of exploration lot of innovations lot of aspects have come in to learn remote culture has come out many remote cultures have come out self discovery of hidden talents you know what uh, to be uh, very honest i think um, you will laugh at me when i say this uh, i learned two things like um, one is like i learned one new exercise uh, from one of my colleagues uh, and then i started doing it at this point of time and one more thing is i started driving myself on the road which was uh, not happening several years but then i started driving my own car so these were hidden talents that we discover i took back my my paintings and i was watching them oh is it clara you have drawn all these okay where are these talents now come back bring them back so bringing them back so these are some of the talents that we have brought out in us and learning on adjustment and accommodation we adjust in an accommodator we had sometimes very difficult times and we had to sometimes stretch our work because our nurses are here sometimes we have to walk up to the corona ward and then to see whether the nurses are comfortable whether the nursing in charge is comfortable whether they are they are having any challenges many adjustments have happened at work many adjustments have happened at home yes it did get to connect with community around you and the neighbors these are some of the positivities we can say because of corona that we have been blessed can you say which is the best curve on your whole body it's your smile curves are there in the body which is god given curves some are glamorous some are attractive some are very beautiful but we would only say the best curve is a smile don't just smile sake of smiling smile till you get a curve smile to get a curve on your face then that is a real smile that comes from the heart so smile will always give the best curve in your body a smile reminds the most inexpensive gift you can bestow on anyone yet it's powerful to vanquish a kingdom these are all sayings of great people if you smile when no one is around you really mean it sometimes you do that sometimes when i when i am at room at home when i am uh, taking my wardrobe i will uh, take one of the dress which was gifted from by my maybe my father or some loved ones i just smile to myself because i get very happy seeing that sometimes you smile to yourself when nobody is there around you but are we doing it are we doing it some people have a habit of singing and laughing to themselves when they are alone i think that's a, that's the best thing 
people say that when you sing and when you are happy when nobody is around you then you are not mentally sound no you are mentally sound otherwise right only when you are alone you are not other people perceive it that way but it's one way good i'm saying because that helps you to secrete all the hormones that is required and make your inner peace very strong happiness and smile complements and feeds each other you cannot have happiness without a smile and your smile with that beautiful curve will not happen unless you are happy so they both complement each other i would like to quote this ladies quote here there is no cosmetics for beauty like happiness i can layer my face because i want to show that i am beautiful i can make some changes to show i am beautiful if you go to cosmetic shop you will see all varieties something some, some of the cosmetic products even i cannot understand what is it used for they have so many criteria they may have so many variables in that so many brands but i i cannot understand many times but i do wear cosmetics yes i cannot say no but there is no cosmetic for beauty like happiness so here this author connects happiness to beauty stand in front of the mirror and say that see that when you are happy how is your face when you are sad how is your face face is the index of mind i would say face is index of mind and your heart and why do they say happiness is in the mind because i told you scientifically brain portion there is a portion in the brain that will also help you to be happy so you cannot have any cosmetics to beautify your happiness no it comes from within it comes from inside out bob also says that become personally involved with your dream and make it a priority or it will never become a reality how a desire can drive you i could see how uh, dr padmavati was when she was a student she was a student who used to be very um, fun loving walking around mostly um, to herself withdrawn at some times but i have seen her growing there was a passion in her there was a desire in her same way i have seen chitra also a very timid very so very sweet very soft very pleasant she has become strong teacher so she there was a dream in her to evolve every person has got a dream and desire in you have dreams if you say no i don't have dreams i'll just grow whatever comes on my way i'll take no you know what when i was doing my masters as padmavati told that time i decided i should do my phd i have not yet finished my masters but already i thought about that i have to do my phd and i started putting work for it and before i could apply i finished my pilot study then only i applied for phd work thanks to my professors who helped me and especially my guide dr pandian excellent personality when i think of happiness i can say he is the best person 5 o'clock dot 5:30 i would travel from ramachandra to uh, apollo to do my study so he'll be waiting with a cup of tea for me so what i received i want to give to my students right he will wait for me with a cup of tea and he said at the time of the phd awarding time he said we are not offering you phd you earned it earning is it very important nobody will give you just like that we have to earn it how can we earn that is only when we have that dream and make the dream as a priority to make it re- reality we have to have certain things like count your blessing and you also make your happiness 
and your smile as part of it, you can make it a reality very soon. Your thoughts help define happiness. I have got two quotes here. One is Benjamin's, the other one is Abraham's quote. Nature, greed thoughts for you will never go higher than your thoughts. Nature's great thought for you. What is that great thought that the nature has given you? You will never grow higher than your thoughts. You will never, never, ever grow higher than your thoughts. So thoughts are very important. If you believe I will be a nurse at the bedside forever, then you will be a nurse forever. No wrong in that. You enjoy it. You continue to be that way. If you dream and believe that you want to grow in your professional ladder, you would certainly go there. But where is your thought? Your thought is very important. If you think everything is failure around me, I want to end my life, there is no worth living in this world, then your thought will lead you to do that. But if you think there are people who have won the world, won the problem, they have come out of challenges. I, I think if it is easy for them, it is easy for me. I can also try. Put your thoughts in front of you. Allow your thoughts to travel before you. So you run behind your thoughts. Very important. Run behind your thoughts. Your thoughts can go faster. Make your thoughts go faster before you. And you go behind it to achieve it. Very, very important. There is something called uh, a space and time, which is very important. You should understand this, fellow dear friends in nursing community. Suppose I want to go to, a, to my car and I'm walking from the uh, uh, doorstep. And the car is few yards away from me. I'm standing here. Now for me to go near the car, what is required? One is the time. Other one is the distance. Now I can reduce the distance if I run to my car. I can extend the distance by walking very gently, slowly. So always, when you shorten your time, your distance becomes smaller. The space becomes smaller. So space and time has got a very relevant meaning when you want to progress forward. And these are all not defined uh, clearly, but it can be perceived, it can be enjoyed. A belief is only a thought. You continue to think. And when your beliefs match your desire, then your desire will become your reality. I lost my father when I was a mom of a one-year-old child, Isaac. After me becoming a mother, I am still a daughter of my father, right? It was very emotional. He had pulmonary embolism. After an attack, he was brought, brought in Chennai to one of the hospital, reputed hospital, for a cardiac intervention. So when he came in, it's it's the hospital is named as Cardiac Specialist Hospital. I don't want to reveal the name. He was brought in. You know what? He was allowed to go to bathroom because he was telling that it's very difficult for me to lie. I have urge to urine. I felt very sad that as a nurse, I was not nursing him standing by his side because I didn't know when he was taken to the hospital. But one doubt was there in my mind. Why did the cardiologist there and the nurse there stop my father, restrict him on bed, put his heart to rest? and initiated the treatment. He was allowed to go to bathroom. 
in the bathroom he slipped and he just fell and had a second attack as a nursing student from cmc when we do our case studies when we do a nursing care plan second year nursing student i was able to understand that when there is a pulmonary embolism the patient will have urge to void patient would not rest flat on the bed these are all signals sent by the patient i really felt very very sad that i failed as a nurse that point of time but it took some time for me i wanted to climb the ladder in educational industry institute then after my assistant dean for clinical affairs at sultan qaboos university when i came back i didn't want to join a college of nursing it's not that i cannot be a good teacher or an administrator in the college of nursing but i wanted to know where my happiness lies so i chose it was very difficult decision i chose to walk into hospital to work in the hospital consistently 12 hours of input every day every day 12 hours of input in the hospital gave me happiness gave me outcome results i saw wonderful work of nurses i saw handicraft of doctors how patients are being proactively predictively prevented from illnesses how they are protected and taken forward how their disabilities are limited that gave me happiness if i had not believed that as a nurse for me it's right to be at the bedside it wouldn't have fetched me to a hospital industry and healthcare thanks to god and thanks to people who have been with me at that point of time and i would really be thankful for giving god for giving me that belief and that desire in me and thank my father my father is no more but i can contribute to my other patients whenever a nurse says we ca- we have something called as best catches recently we had a presentation on that as well in the ihh program we have a ihh nursing head ms ilen like when when she asked for papers so we presented six papers and out of which this got selected for the plenary presentation i was very happy one of my deputy nursing so uh, deputy chief of nursing she presented this and you know it was all cnos everybody across six hospital contributed to this best catches nurses are the first and the last line of defense they can prevent harm to patient a wrong prescription can be stopped a wrong dispensing medicine can be stopped a wrong decision making can be stopped by the nurses nobody is going to blame the nurses for being strong to be resilient and to be empowered in fact they would pat on our back you know so those best catches gives delightfulness that is a happiness that is happening in reality there are few things that we have to understand fellow nurses emotional quotient is one all of us have to understand that emotional quotient is very very important reportability and accountability is the one that is resulting because of emotional quotient be responsive be responsible be reciprocative and be honest emotional quotient will help you define who you are always respect boundaries as well as others privacy respect she may be a junior nurse but she has got a privacy the subordinate superior concept is gone we all work together we have to be together 
very very important individuals importance is very important it brings back to my knowledge when i was a teacher in the institute i always allow my nurses nursing students to sit in front of me and i talk to them i was marked negative in my performance appraisal saying that i am allowing my nursing students not standing in front of me but making them sit in front of me to discuss with them very pathetic i think it should not happen respecting student respecting other colleague is very very important and there is a boundary to it as well anything happens outside duty is their responsibility anything happens within during the time of duty is our responsibility be humble be genuine considerate and compassionate and maintain confidentiality to maintain your eq social quotient this is the measure of ability to build a network of friends maintain it over a long period of time my father used to tell never have enemies around you limit your number of enemies around you we do that but as human being sometimes it's difficult sometimes it's difficult i know my limitation as well but i can count on people whom i had difficulties yes but i'm trying it's all a trial we keep trying nobody is 100% social quotient ability we all try it will maintain chain of love sometimes egos doesn't permit zero expectation i learnt it and when you are in the healthcare especially in the hospitals with the nursing service you can always understand that it will teach you how to zero down your egos i was entering into a room where uh, there is mortality morbidity review happening at one one point of time this is long year ago not now recently there was a cardiothoracic surgeon who said why is she coming into the car, mortality and morbidity review if she is a nursing director i think she should not come inside it's only meant for doctors days are gone so i did not retaliate i just came out but i read through the minutes and understood there is something for nursing to learn and i did a qip on the same the same doctor invited me for mortality morbidity review in the upcoming meeting and he said i want you to be with us i see you add lot of values sometimes you have to let go egos zero expectation and then it comes back to you don't force a butterfly to sit on your shoulders just position yourself calm silent in one position butterfly will come and sit on your shoulders winning relationship is more important than winning an argument whenever you want to argue think twice will this argument break relationship if yes stop it sometimes when you are in board room it is not possible when you have to speak for your nurses it's not possible but there is a way there is a way to communicate and do things adversary quotient very important the measure of your ability to go through a rough patch in life come out without losing your mind you lose a job you lose your loved ones somebody is accusing you for something what you have not done in your in your work you are falsely accused of something doesn't matter it's all rough path sometimes you have to walk on your the rough path then only you will understand the smooth path which has been blessed to you as aq determines who will give up in face to of troubles and may abandon their family for example petting and patting a child will not develop aq 
because the child will break down when the child sees a failure many times what do we do in the college of nursing we pamper our students we tell them oh they cannot do night duty okay the first day they enter into hospital and then what happens within one month she has to be put on night duty we have to role model when they are students go and talk to doctors tell that she is my student i think she will be able to come to your rounds she will be able to take points so we have to put that tough see i always think of whenever i think of aqs i always think of the amputation which i learned again from cmc as a student an amputated leg will be prepared the hump will be prepared by hitting against the sandbags no you keep hitting 100 times 1000 times it gets quicker ready for the prosthesis if not what happen the prosthesis will not fit on to the amputated leg you get ulcers it may be difficult your your part is not prepared for the false leg to be attached so we have something called as we have in those days like we have sandbags and we ask the patient to hit against the sandbag to prepare the part very important same way nurses we cannot keep pampering nurses always we have to teach them resilience we have to teach them how to be bold we have to talk to them about empowerment the nabh also says jca says very clearly patient safety is ours and when we want to face patient safety when we want to witness nurses have to be very strong nurses have to tell the truth nurses have to be strong and tell okay sorry this is not possible i will not shift a patient if you have not given concern for surgery sorry doctor i will not be able to shift this patient because there is a right side surgery the site has to be marked sorry doctor your supervisor coming on the rounds you have to tell her, see my stock is getting reduced it will become difficult for me so you will tell your senior nurse you have to be strong it is very very important psychological disturbances common in all failures okay but that will not help us at all sharing with team gaining energy from the team working together will help you improve your adversity challenges are important have you seen a cocoon from where the butterfly is coming it's a small little tiny structure okay threaded very beautiful what happens is at one point of time it breaks it it just gives out the worm then the worm becomes a beautiful butterfly and then it flies off the effort is made why go there some of you are learning obstetrics right students do you all witness deliveries do you all conduct deliveries you think how babies are coming out of the pelvis and then how they are delivered the effort that the child is making they say that babies born by vagina have stronger ability when compared to babies those who are born by cesarean because they made the effort they earned it they earned it so adversary quotient is very important and that is part of life judicious combination of all three is very important you cannot have one as 100% the other as zero no a combination of all these is very very important for nursing especially when you when you are growing and evolving as a true healthcare professional but what i could see is we more focus on education iq level we have to more focus on eq level i think that's also getting momentum now but sq and aq are areas where it is not at much explored any relationship to make to sustain your happiness watch for your eq sq and aq very significant i would like to have a quote by bob proctor very strong quote people who are interested in doing something will do it when it's convenient do you all believe that's what we do no but people who are committed 
will do it no matter whatever it is resilience perseverance so we keep doing this as it goes so what is that i want to tell you is there is a particular frame that you all must understand this is specifically for teachers aspiring students and aspiring principals and administrators fomo will is one thing that you have to understand fomo what is fomo while is into the process do not get carried away by how well others are doing with their dreams and desire if you do so you are not into it excellence is a measure for yourself who clara was 10 years ago 5 years ago now and who will she be next 5 years is a measure for myself i cannot measure myself with another person i can take them as a role model but i if i start measuring it will destroy my happiness the fear of missing out is the fomo this is a beautiful concept all of us should learn fear of missing out is the fomo thinking that the grass is greener elsewhere and living a life out of balance are all syndromes of having incorrect steadily prioritize happiness without prioritize happiness outside of ourselves incorrectly we are incorrectly prioritized we are thinking happiness is when i compare oh she has grown high she has become a, a specialist nurse she has won the award and when you open a whatsapp think of fomo so then you will not enter into a state of confusion which will stop you progressing so open up a whatsapp you see somebody is rewarded somebody is awarded somebody is doing this and then what happens oh what is happening to me why i am not doing i also do this why i am not i think uh, i have to do something immediately what happens your road becomes different you take a cross road you end up in a wrong way you are traveling nicely in a path where you have your dreams you have your plans and you are propelling suddenly what happens emotionally fomo sets in you fear of missing out so then what happens you get those impulses that will imbalance you incorrectly you will prioritize your happiness outside of yourself then what happens your dreams get destroyed please do not do this control yourself so next time when you see somebody getting awarded somebody getting this happens in public you see um, uh, celebrities on the screen you see beautiful people on the screen sometimes you may be having a dark skin but when you when you when you when your lighter skin people come on the screen you feel if only i have little lighter skin i'll be beautiful no you are beautiful with your darker skin you are beautiful with what is given to you everybody is beautifully made in the eyes of god right don't think of rich poor people thinking of rich with fomo these are all things that will deviate you from happiness your inner happiness will never come a bridge to happiness is gratitude gratitude is a powerful crystal for happiness is the spark that lights a fire of joy in your soul gratitude will shift you to higher frequency and you will attract much better things there is a calmness to a life lived in gratitude a quiet joy never slow down to be showing your gratitude to your mentors your teachers your family your friends see many times we don't even say thanks we don't even count our blessings please enjoy 
the sense of gratitude development in us if you do that we will be thanking for everything were you able to button your shirts this morning were you able to take the food and put it in your mouth this morning were you able to swallow water in this morning i will have the sense of gratitude for all these when i am standing near a patient who had trauma where he is not he has lost his gag reflex he is not able to swallow he lost his fine dexterity and movement he is not able to button a shirt he doesn't have coordination not able to take the food from the plate to his mouth gratitude a bridge to come out of fomo is gratitude so have gratitude the real gift of gratitude is that the more grateful you are the more present you become the more grateful we are the more present we become so it is important for us to live in present normally what do we do when we connect we always talk of the past or we talk of the future my mother always says clara i think some of your uh, your uh, dishes are uh, your uh, containers are getting half filled i think you have to fill the grocery then i'll tell her don't worry about that we have to plan but there is a time for that when there is a time you have to live for the present live for the present you all will sit around the table to have dinner that night with the family if you talk about the present it will end very pleasant if you talk about the future it will end in discussion arguments fights being present is very important realistic very very simple and that gratitude will be helping us to lay, live to the present a beautiful quote by das gopal das i love it because he used l to close it live love laugh lead and leave this is life leaving we are not going to take anything with us we are just leaving this world this world is not permanent for us this job is not permanent for us this position is not permanent for us if somebody is able to respect me not as a director of nursing just being clara that will give me more happiness we live we love we laugh we lead but many times we get upset about leave even i have that feeling the thought came to me how to age gracefully now i am 55 so i i used to think how to gracefully age only thinking will not help we have to exercise we have to control our tongue we have to modify our behavior my nephew roshan he was asking me a question he calls me by loving word peri peri ma okay peri peri are you able to be happy when you are all by yourself are you able to laugh to yourself you should not do anything just sit like this for one hour and then after that you say that you are not feeling lonely you are not very upset but you are very happy then that is the happiness that you have actually i want to give a credit for that child you know i see a great human in him he is going to be a great man one day hats off to roshan because at the age of 50 he has given this insight in me so i am learning i am very happy that younger age team members are here in this group who are lucky enough to listen to all these because you are more advanced it doesn't mean we are not practicing all that but it is not complete we have not completely learnt it it is a life skill very important life skill one joy scatters a hundred griefs this is a chinese proverb one joy scatters a hundred griefs it is true 
and we enjoy it every day right when we whenever we experience this we have testimonies we have real stories we have all these in us right i would like to narrate a small story before i could conclude there was a patient who was dying he was a patient who had corona some of the patients on ecmo recovered in a hospital but unfortunate this patient did not recover due to varied reasons the mother and the daughters when i went for counseling with one of my doctor initially they said no 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 we cannot accept that he is not progressing he will not come out we want him to come out i don't want to see him so you are saying there is no progress okay fine he is he is you are going to uh, declare but then i don't want to see his face you know one question was put to them saying do you want a wonderful precious day with your father and to the wife do you want one wonderful precious day with your husband it worked the patient was on ecmo he had tracheostomy he had all supports okay all lines going on with him okay but all nutrition supplements everything going with him and then he was able to be conscious that was a blessing so we told them count your blessing with all these there were patients who we cannot bring them to normal in the sense conscious so that the patient can dialogue with the family but this family was blessed enough because that patient was conscious he was not able to speak because of the tracheostomy but he was having a sound mental faculty he was able he was able to have a orientation of the environment he was able to converse with them by action so they had one day dating with their father with husband what a beautiful scene they took pictures they spoke to him they gave him assurance i was very astonished with one of my uh, doctor sitting with me when we were talking to the patient he told them that do you want to your father to leave this world after doing so much for all of you with a empty feeling or you want to give him a feeling of full satisfaction and give him the confidence that you will live the life he desired for all of you that was a eye opening for the family then they started wiping their eyes they told no we will spend with him they went and stood he likes coconut water they gave him six of coconut water he like fresh nice coffee filter coffee he had that he had few other drinks then he was then in the night they said now we are ready if he is let him live however long he can live and let him close his eyes you know that was a beautiful and after everything was over after a week we got an information i got a message from the doctor saying that you 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 are the wonderful people who have touched our lives you are our relatives you have to come for my wedding you have to bless me because we see you and the doctor our father in you both in your team the nurses the doctors everybody who had supported us to come out one day dating with the father we took videos they took a lot of videos they took with the father communicating they had fun you know there were no tears it all happened behind the screen but not in front of him so that was a best end of life care that i have served as a nurse i can say so one joy scatters 100 griefs six things to always remember everything takes time do not be hurry wait and watch every dog have have its own day they say everything has its own day so we have to wait other people are not the answer for your happiness they don't give you happiness they can only remove your happiness but key is with you to improve your happiness and preserve it with you with a lock 
and others not allowing others to remove the happiness grow and never stop working on yourself working on yourself always we work on others i also do that mistake many times but work on yourself very important change is inevitable we have to keep changing your mistakes does not define you mistakes everybody makes whenever nurses do mistakes i tell them do the first mistake but don't do the second mistake of not expressing and saying that you have done a mistake because mistakes can happen but second mistake should not happen you are a beautiful powerful being capable of so much what is that so much you only can define how powerful how beautiful you are in doing capable things so we have come to the end of the presentation and i would like to say that i am happy for having met all of you thank you for helping me redefining my happiness because as i prepared this i also got more strengthened thank you for making me feel young connected with you all young nurses i love to be connected with young nurses thank you for giving me an opportunity to remember grt college of nursing and all the colleges those who have joined with us today god bless each of you to become what you wish to become and enjoy the journey of becoming that with fulfillment and happiness thank you on behalf of continental and glenigas global family stay safe stay happy feel free to connect with us for any support may i thank pathway healthcare india private limited for offering this time for me to be with you and i wish you all the best world is very small probably we have not seen face to face today sometime in the future we would see face to face or sometimes who knows we will all work together thank you all for giving me an opportunity grt management and administrators of college of nursing grt and specifically principal padmavadi and professor chitra who was connecting with me thank you hana for supporting me from my office and thank you all thank you ma'am thank you thank you thank you so much ma'am i think now our serotonin level will be high we should check now i think our endorphins serotonin level i think you are the ideal person ma'am to talk about this actually we all are very much happy and we can see the comments raise so much of comments they all are enjoying your presentation ma'am nearly 460 participants are there actually both from youtube la there is less because we have more participants in zoom itself actually all are happy ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you so much uh, i kindly request the participants there are principals are there nursing uh, chief nursing superintendent officers many people are there if you have any queries you can just please uh, put that in the chat box or you can raise your hand you will be unmuted and you can also say few words actually before we conclude the session ma'am okay can you see the comments in the chat yeah. box ma'am please ma'am they'll be happy they'll be happy ma'am to see you also yeah i'm seeing all the comments thank, thank you all for the wonderful comments but i can take also a few questions for you to answer yes, uh, thank you for all the comments uh, i think if i keep reading then it will take long time but i'm able to see the comments thank you all thank you all uh, i am really delighted yes ma'am Ma'am, first question. I can, question I can take. I can take three questions uh, if required from. Yes, ma'am. First question is from me only, ma'am. Actually, <laughs> so uh, happiness. Uh, so when we are in distress, ma'am, how can we make ourselves happy, ma'am? Actually, during the situations of distress. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So uh, I said something. No thought. Thought. Once you put your thought that I am in distress, that itself will pull you down. what you have to think is yes i am oriented i am i am in a problem now how to come out of this problem if i dwell in this problem i may become more emotional but when i come out of this problem and see things i'll be more clear i'll get solutions for the distress so either you choose something that is close to you which you are used to like for me no i like to 
listen to melodious songs so i just divert my mind keep myself empty that time i divert with some song or do some sport or probably you can you can write something writing diaries or poems or painting something you can do where you just keep yourself diverted from that particular level of stress but then you come back when your emotions are done and objectively analyze what is this distress <laughs> is this a first of all a distress okay. for me or i am wrongly defining it as a distress <laughs> how big is this distress after a year after a year if i come back to this day will i not laugh to myself that this is a dis- very big distress that i was not able to manage so i'll come back i'll see whether this is a real distress or this is not a real distress what is causing this distress is it my ego that is causing the distress or is it my incapability causing this distress or do i have anything to learn in this mm-hmm. so that will help you to take yourself forward and then you can see what still in distress you can be happy you know that family the father was dying they know that tonight the father will be no more tomorrow morning maybe next 24 hours he will slowly go to sleep but how did they come out of that distress to make a day with father make a day with husband you know that wife was asking him enna na ungalku ellame pannitena sandoshama na ella panna na ungala nalla paathukitena then enakku neenga two wheeler solli kudukuren sonningle sollam kudukave illaye then she said he said he showed his daughter this way then oh nee appo daughter vandha enakku solli kudupaan solringa amma then daughter said na solli kudutren pa nee vartha padada amma nalla ootuva the brahmin family amma nalla ootuva vandi don't worry apdi sonna then immediately he smiled <laughs> do you think in distress such dialogues can happen anyway any time it will not happen for everybody they found happiness because they were related to present i don't know whether i answered your question but yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Since what with little knowledge i can answer this yes, was most of the time no we, we it will not be a distress and we will think that it is a distress it's a perception after after uh, six months or something we know no, that is a small thing so we felt so much for that and that's a real thing ma'am so start feeding your good wolf in you so that you don't see the bad you don't see things as bad and then you energize your bad wolf in you so good wolf more good wolf when you getting stronger 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 the bad wolf the wolf will become very weaker probably okay. will not be will be insignificant also okay ma'am okay. somebody how can we uh, like uh, somebody is in distress ma'am or distress or somebody is not at all happy uh, how can we make them happy ma'am actually i told you making somebody happy is impossible is yes. oh, <laughs> we have to define they how... have to make themselves happy but how can we help them is we can provide a congenial environment okay to help them be happy support that 10% we can do for them but 40% is from within them and we can also do one thing in uh, in psychology you say you no know, the first step is you give them an insight defining themselves some people will not know who they are they will think i am i am a great professor i am a great uh, nursing director um how can this happen to me so oh you are a nursing director but you don't know this no so you 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 should say that yes you don't know this yes so we are defining ourselves there yes i am a nursing director but i cannot perf- perform as smart as my nurse who is taking care of ventilator or ecmo patient because i am no i am in the board room i go to, i can give good injection i can do good dressing but i have not mm-hmm. taken care of ventilator patient for some time so in that place i cannot be efficient than my nurse she is efficient than me in that so that insight has to be given so that if you give for people sometimes you have to mirror them show a mirror in front of them and then say who you are that will first click they will come out and then they will start that 40% exploring themselves what is there in them and they'll start becoming happy so from external this much only we can give them yes ma'am 
thank you ma'am thank you ma'am there is a question from i think uh, dharani mnc having some question jayendra please kindly unmute we dharani mnc please dharani kindly accept your you have to accept host will unmute you please kindly accept and ask question தரணி இன்ஜின்ல அவங்க வராங்களா லைன்ல ஏஷ் இஸ் கமிங் எனிபடி ஐ ஐ ஆர் யூ கேன் ஜஸ்ட் டைப் தி क्वेश्चन தரணி எம்என்சி ஓகே எனிபடி எல்ஸ் okay ma'am i don't think i think she is not accepting there any okay ma'am ma'am shall we go for uh, ma'am thank you so much ma'am on behalf of everybody everybody is enjoying your presentation i think we will it is it is going on through live youtube live stream also i will also share the link to other people also in other groups also because they should post this very important topic when we know only iq and eq and the first thing we learned today from your social a uh, question is there and adversary question is there and fomo the tier of <laughs> fomo we never heard about all these things ma'am thank you so much i told everybody that each and everything will be a learning with you ma'am so today we have learned a lot 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 and then again we will we uh, this one we will again post it also ma'am to other groups for them to have a clear things ma'am and then uh, uh, can we go for uh, this thing ma'am out of thanks nirmala are you ready nirmala yes ma'am yes ma'am You please proceed in if, if uh, uh, one uh, darani is coming means again we will give her a chance okay yes ma'am yes ma'am okay ma'am good evening all this is nirmala assistant professor of grt college of nursing okay all, uh, all uh, good things comes to an end in life as so the epi- seminar is uh, coming as an end now so on behalf of grt college of nursing and school of nursing i take this opportunity to propose vote of thanks to, to those directly and indirectly contributed this webinar First of all, I would like to thank our God Almighty for His blessings and grace for making this webinar a great success. And at the outset, I thank our resource person, Dr. Jyoti Clara Michael, Director of Nursing Strategies and Planning, India Operations Division, for accepting our kind request. And we are really enlightened with your knowledge and presence, ma'am. Really, as ma'am said, so we have learned the new things and all in the questions, so IQ and the emotional question and the social question and adversary and also fear of this. Are missing out so so many things we have learned and also our thought okay that's a positive thought we need to make ourselves happy and also to the others okay that's positive energy we need to carry on so really it's wonderful presentation ma'am thank you ma'am once again and our heartfelt thanks to our honorable delegates who has blessed us with their presence and took out valuable time for their busy schedule i must mention our deep sense of gratitude and sincere thanks to our management for their support in organizing this webinar and it's a matter of immense pride for me to convey my gratitude to our beloved principal Dr. Badmavdi for our continuous support and guidance. Thank you, ma'am. My sincere and special thanks to our Vice Principal, ma'am, Professor Chitra, for initiation and also the completion of this webinar in a grand success. Thank you, ma'am. Special thanks to the organizing committee, teaching and non-teaching staffs for their unflinching support and coordination. My special and hearty thanks to all my beloved students of GRTCon and School of Nursing who had actively participated in this webinar. Thank you all. i once again thank one and all for your patience and kind cooperation completion of this webinar thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you for spending so much of time ma'am actually we are glad to have you ma'am again and again thank you very much wish you all the best thank god you. bless you stay stay strong and grow higher yes be ma'am. bold and visible yes, nursing ma'am. needs strong <laughs> power and i am sure each of you are power and let us make nursing different in indian soil thank yes. you thank you ma'am with your blessings and wishes and your motivation ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you ma'am thank you okay angelin thank you all thank you all dear participants thank you mr joseph john crasto again and again you are supporting us by your valuable suggestions and valuable comments thank you so much and thank you for everyone who has been participated and also who have given your wonderful comments thank you all shall we shall we i think the feedback link has been posted already and we will also post to 
uh, to the respective groups also we will post actually whomever has been we have a whatsapp group is there and facebook everywhere we will post the feedback link also you all can just give your feedback and you will receive your e certificate thank you thank you all one second thank you dear delegates whomever has come whoever has spent your valuable time here thank you so much thank you okay we can we can just end any doubts you can post or you can just post in the whatsapp